Don't forget to subscribe so we can become homegirls. And those of you who are returning, thank you so much for returning. I love you so much. And for all of y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So as y'all seeing in the title below, girl, we are doing a favorite makeup product of the year 2022. As y'all know, the year is almost over. We have a few more months in this year. Then we'll be uh, rolling into the next year, trying more products, newer products. So I figured I would share with y'all my favorite products of this year so far, especially since Black Friday is like literally next month, girl. You know, everybody be having the best sales. So let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe again. And I'll see y'all in just a sec. Okay, girl, so let's start this video off with my skin prep for my makeup. So the very first thing that I'm going to show y'all is my primer, which is the Milk Hydro Grip. Girl, if you know, you know. This primer has literally been every girl's favorite primer, especially if you have dry skin. It leaves your skin feeling so smooth and so hydrated. I love this stuff. It makes your makeup go on smoothly. Your face stays hydrated all throughout the day. I love this stuff, okay? This is, this is amazing. If you haven't tried it and you have dry skin, you're missing out and you need to go get you some. So my next favorite product of the year has been the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline. This has definitely been a lifesaver when I'm applying my makeup. Um, I love this stuff. It's not expensive at all. I think it's definitely under six dollars. I want to say like three dollars but I'm not sure. Everything would definitely be listed below so I can go find the products. But yeah girl this, this stuff right here it takes away your pores instantly. So moving along, we're going to get to my favorite product for under the eye right now, which is by Tasha. Tasha. This is the under eye cream. Girl, I actually got this as a sample for Sephora as my birthday gift. This little small tube or little container has lasted me since March and it's still a good bit in here. I think it's more than half. It's about half left in here. This stuff works so good under your eyes. I only use it when I'm applying my makeup. It definitely helps my makeup not to cake or crease underneath the eye. It makes my under eye feel so hydrated. Super hydrated, um, no cracks, minimum cracking. I love this stuff. I'm not really sure the price range of it. Due to the brand, we all know she could be a little pricey. But it definitely works the magic and hopefully you yeah, have some good Black Friday sales because girl, this to have your under eyes together. So now we're going to get into the items that I use to conceal, to hide any flaws that I may have. Oh, acne scars. I don't really get acne, just like random pimples. So what I use to cover those and like the redness in my skin. Girl, let me put y'all on. This um, LA Girl LA Girl Pro con uh, Pro Conceal. This is the, uh, what do they call it? Um, color Corrector, duh. This is called Color Corrector. I use the one by LA Girl Pro, like I just said. Um, I use the color orange. I think you choose which color corrector you use based off like your skin complexion as well as what you're needing to color correct um so yeah i use orange and i use this mainly like on my cheeks right here because my cheeks are naturally super super like rosy reddish and i just want to tone that down and then on my cheek area right here where i usually get little pimples due to 
that monthly friend that comes to visit once a month for a week y'all um this stuff works amazing and this as well um is inexpensive it's under six dollars it's not expensive at all and it definitely basically just covers everything up it definitely gives me a little bit more coverage than concealer i don't know what it is with color corrector this is actually a newer item i just got on girl like where's color corrector been my whole life where has it been so if y'all been have been watching my videos for some time now then girl you know i live for a good old tarp tart concealer but I have tried two other concealers this year. The first one I've tried was the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. The other one that I tried is the NARS Concealer. Now, both of these are amazing. Huge price difference though. So this one will be way more reasonable. Um, and this one is a little bit more on the pricey side. Hint, hint to why I have the small one because the girl who was gonna pay $30 for some concealer and I ain't know if I liked it or not. But now I can say I have to go back and get the larger bottle because I absolutely adore it. Um, the NARS one is definitely my favorite out of both of these, but they both do amazing. I still use this one as well. Um, this one definitely has my skin feeling a little bit more hydrated than the NARS, but the NARS, it just gives me a little bit more coverage it's also hydrating but not as much as this one um so yeah i definitely need to go and get me one of these in a bigger size hopefully somebody will have it on sale for black friday so when i first started doing makeup years ago y'all i fell in love with the l'oreal foundation um the uh, this one right here <laughs> i fell in love with this foundation i actually was using the matte version but I tried the dewy version and y'all, I love this foundation. This foundation is not, it's, it's not expensive. It's like, it should be no more than $15, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of other foundations that I've tried, a lot of other foundations that's out there on the market right now. I actually use two um, to get my skin complexion perfect, but these foundations, amazing um they're full coverage but they're not like a heavy full coverage my skin is still able to breathe i don't feel like i have like a uh, a pile of makeup just sitting on my face so i really hate to say this y'all because it's bad for my wallet my pocket my bank account but i truly believe i'm becoming a nars girl i'm becoming a nars girl and i say that because this year, I've also tried the NARS blush, which I have in the color Luster. Beautiful. This color is beautiful. I prefer more of like a peachy pink blush. This is so beautiful, y'all. I love this NARS blush. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but not overly shimmer. I also fell in love with the bronzer. The NARS bronzer, I have it in the color Casino. This is what it looks like. I actually use this to contour. Y'all, I love these products. Like, NARS is amazing. It's, it's more on a pricier side, but I am starting to love NARS. I'm a NARS girl now. Okay, homegirls, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed me sharing my gems of the makeup world of 2022. I'm so excited to see what new makeup and new makeup trends we're gonna be trying next year. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so, so much. See you later.